Tonight, another winter storm inches its way to the Twin Ports. Dave is in to tell us when the snow and ice will begin falling. And from the Twin Ports to the Twin Cities, we talk to a local couple lending a helping hand to those impacted by a devastating Christmas Day fire. Plus, a massive upgrade is coming to an integral part of the Twin Ports shipping industry. From CBS 3 Duluth, this is the CBS 3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us. Kristen is off tonight. A powerful winter storm that's currently out west, but making its way to our area is causing nightmare travel difficulties for some people in the middle of a very busy travel time. The system is now blowing across the southwest after dumping torrential rain and heavy snow on Southern California, with the mountains just outside of Los Angeles getting up to three feet of snow. The storm wreaked havoc, closing two of the state's major interstates diverting traffic and leaving travelers feeling frustrated. Heavy snow also fell in Arizona as the massive storm system heads east, causing winter storm watches and warnings to go into effect from Colorado to Minnesota. Forecasters expect more than a foot of snow and wind gusts of up to 45 miles per hour could hit the Great Plains region over the weekend. It's impacting most ground and air travel in the storm's path. The airlines, including Delta, are issuing travel waivers to those traveling throughout the upper Midwest. Airports in Duluth, Hibbing, International Falls, and Minneapolis are all on the list. Those traveling to or from one of those airports are able to change their flight for no additional fee. You can find more information on how to do that on our website. Meanwhile, Twin Ports officials are preparing for that forecasted snowfall. City of Duluth Street maintenance teams will be using salt and sand for icy conditions if needed. Residents are also asked to abide by alternate side parking on Sunday evening. Cars will need to be moved to the odd side of the road between 4 and 8 p.m. on Sunday. Over in Superior, Mayor Jim Payne says they will have the plows out as soon as those flakes start to fly, and they'll keep the main routes clear and sanded. And without further ado, let's talk to Dave about the weather. Dave, what's shaking? Well, that low pressure system has now come out of the southwest, entering the plains. It's in Colorado getting up towards our region, still setting its sights right upon our area. So the latest Doppler and satellite map shows that the higher pressure that brought us sunshine today will migrate to the east and pull up a little bit to the north probably, allowing that low pressure system a clear shot towards Lake Superior. Our forecast for the weekend says our timeline coming up is tonight to have increase in clouds as the low gets closer than Saturday probably late morning into early afternoon we'll start to get snow and rain here in our region probably more on the rainy side for wisconsin and michigan more on the snowy side in minnesota and then we get into sunday and even monday morning and afternoon the snow will continue some towns are going to get more snow than others frankly minnesota's facing warnings and advisories wisconsin michigan not facing anything like that yet. We'll show you the latest snow estimates coming up in more detail in a few more minutes. And then we'll talk about the new year where it will cool down and clear up at least a hair. All right. Thanks, Dave. A woman is behind bars today after leading authorities on a chase through Duluth this morning. Police did not share exactly when or where it happened, but according to, their, to the Duluth Police Department, it all started when the woman fled from a straight state trooper in her vehicle. Police say she eventually crashed into a snowbank and ran into the woods. Authorities arrested her and she was taken to jail. Charges have not yet been filed, but she had multiple felony warrants out for her arrest. Meanwhile, Duluth police say a pedestrian was hit by a car in the Central Hillside neighborhood this afternoon. It happened around 3.30 on the 200 block of East 5th Street. No word on the extent of injuries. An Ashland man with a long criminal history will spend an extra year in jail for his most recent conviction. Jeremy Strobel was sentenced in district court last week. The 42-year-old will serve that time after the six-year sentence the state handed down for the same offense. In April, police say they found Strobel passed out in the driver's seat of a car with a gun next to him. He also apparently had drugs. Authorities say Strobel has been on supervision more than 20 times. Meanwhile, authorities have arrested a Minnesota man accused of kidnapping his six-month-old son from the boy's mother and assaulting her. It happened in a gas station bathroom off Interstate 35 in Wyoming, Minnesota, yesterday. The baby was found safe at a home in White Bear Lake a few hours later. Today, Wyoming police arrested Ben Teets. The 37-year-old is the child's father but does not have custodial rights. Charges are expected to be filed. Police say the mother was not seriously hurt.
The firm responsible for security at Minneapolis' Super Bowl will pay the state $10,000. The firm, Entertainment Protection Group, was banned from working Super Bowl-related events in Minneapolis over qualifications of its workers. The company was found to have at least one convicted felon working Super Bowl events. The settlement deal was finalized this month. It also prevents the company from seeking another private security license within the state. It is believed to be the largest civil penalty the board has handed down to a private security firm. The Christmas Day fire at the Drake Hotel, which displaced hundreds of low-income people, has reignited a conversation about fixing long-term homelessness. The Minneapolis Foundation set up a disaster relief fund, which has been used in the past for the North Minneapolis tornado and the I-35W bridge collapse. In the first 24 hours, the foundation raised $90,000 and hopes to ultimately raise one million. Authorities have not released any new details about the fire and the cause remains under investigation. Locally, members of the Northlands Red Cross are making the trip down to Minneapolis to help those affected by the fire. We spoke with two Duluth natives making the trip. Their jobs are to make sure the shelter is clean and the food is stocked. They will also help provide some medical care to the victims. One of the volunteers we spoke with says he's been involved in the Red Cross for about five years. It's very, very satisfying to be able to um, meet people in uh, sometimes their worst, their worst day and uh, be able to provide support to them and, and comfort and, and just human kindness. Monetary donations as well as clothes and food donations are being accepted. You can find out how or find information on how to help on our website. Millions of dollars are officially on the way to redo the Sioux locks. The spending bill President Trump signed last week included $75 million for the next phase of the Sioux lock reconstruction. The locks connect Lake Superior and Lake Huron and is a huge shipping passageway. Congressman Pete Stauber recently touted the project's importance during a visit to Duluth. The money will help launch a seven-year makeover of the locks. A popular superior bar and restaurant is now on the market. Shorty's Pizza and Smoked Meat on Tower Avenue is for sale. The owner, Brian Knoll, has been running the business for about six years. He says he's selling to move to a warmer climate, which he hopes will help with his arthritis. I'm still working on new ideas and recipes. So, you know, this is a successful business. We're doing well, so I'm not in a rush to sell it. So it'll sell when it sells, and in the meantime, we'll keep running it as if we're not selling it. An online listing shows a $750,000 asking price. Almost a million dollars is up for grabs for the Northlands class of 2020. Those scholarships are available through the, through the Duluth Superior Area Community Foundation. The organization offers about 70 scholarships, all for various achievements, backgrounds, and amounts. They say it's something they're proud to offer. This money is dedicated to local kids, and therefore it's really important that you ask for it, receive it, work, work, put in an effort to apply for it. Um, again, there's really a lot of really neat opportunities out there. The deadline for high school seniors to apply is January 15th. Check out our website for more on the qualifications. Still to come on live local CBS3, inclement weather is bearing down, threatening yet another busy weekend at Spirit Mountain. And later, today's the day in Michigan where selling pot becomes legal. We'll have the details. Record high temp for this date is 40 from 2003. We've been warmer than normal, but not quite that warm. And after we get through our snowstorm, temperatures will go back down. I'll talk about how low they'll be for the new year coming up after our break. Live, local, CBS 3 News at 10. With Kristen Vahey, Anthony Matt, Kelly Hinson, and weather with meteorologist Dave Anderson on Live, local, CBS 3. Schneiderman's helps you celebrate life's happiest moments when everyone has a spot, even spot. A new year is a new chance for savings at Schneiderman's huge year-end clearance. Shop now at Schneiderman's Furniture. Some things just can't last forever, like slushy here. And our best offer of the year during the final days of the Built for the Holidays sales event. But hurry, these amazing offers on select Ford models end soon. And so does your chance to earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. During the final days of the Ford Built for the Holidays sales event, get over $10,000 in total savings on an expedition. But hurry, it all ends January 2nd. Black Bear Casino Resort welcomes a country music icon to the Otter Creek Event Center. 
Grace Atkins kicks off the Don't Stop Tour 2020, Friday, January 24th. Tickets available at the Players Club or online at BlackBearCasinoResort.com. Make the bear your place. At Starkovich Distributing in Virginia, we want you to be safe, so please don't drink and drive. Have a designated driver or call a cab. It's not worth the risk. You could get arrested or hurt yourself or others. Don't drink and drive. Your local Minnesota Coors distributor reminds you not to drink and drive this holiday weekend. If you plan on drinking, plan ahead. It's not worth the risk. At Chevy, we're all family. We're a festive family. We're a get-up-and-go family. We're all part of the Chevy family. Because our Chevy employee discount is still available to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. One. So Happy New Year and welcome to the family. The Chevy family. Use your Chevy employee discount for everyone to get over $6,100 below MSRP on this Equinox. Visit truenorthchevydealers.com. Schneiderman's helps you celebrate life's peaceful moments. Eight hours at a time. Save up to $800 on Beautyrest Black or Black Hybrid mattresses during the New Year's sale at Schneiderman's Sleep. Now, the CBS3 Duluth Weathermax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Large low pressure system is lurching towards our region, and it still looks like Minnesotans will get the brunt of this, while Wisconsin and the UP, maybe not quite as much, perhaps more rain than snow. But indeed, for the Iron Ranges, points north, points west, looking at a winter storm warning in effect from tomorrow morning through perhaps even Monday morning or so. And then for the Twin Pores region here in Carleton County, Aiken County, Crow Wing, and down towards the Twin Cities, that's a winter weather advisory. A fair amount of snow there possible as well. While again, we take a look at Wisconsin, Pine County, Minnesota, and the UP, not quite so bad. We'll show you the latest snow estimate chart in just a little bit. But right now, we do have the current conditions at Duluth International for you to eye up. And the relative humidity is 88%. And that's a sign there's plenty of moisture in the atmosphere for this low pressure system to work with. And frankly, the low pressure system is going to bring up plenty of its own moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. It's coming in from down around Colorado and the Panhandle. Wind right now southwesterly 15 miles per hour and air pressure on the high side at the surface 30.19 but that high is migrating away to be replaced by the big low and the number will go down. Temperatures, they might go down a little bit more here tonight as the evening goes on. But at this hour, we're at 21 in Watersmeet, 20 Ironwood, 17 Ashland, and 21 in Hayward, and low 20s in Superior. And for Moose Lake, Barnum area as well, 19 Two Harbors, leading the charge into the teens for the Arrowhead of Minnesota, and 18 in Hibbing, 21 International Falls. Yeah, a little resistance to the teens there, but I do think most Minnesotans will get into the teens here tonight for lows. and. Perhaps low 20s for many places like we're seeing right now in Wisconsin and Michigan, except towards you know, Ashland, Odana, where it just might be a, a hair cooler. Temperature's not a huge problem, though. In fact, tomorrow, this low pressure system will be bringing in warm air, and that's why we'll be tangling with perhaps a lot of rain mixed in with this system, especially initially. So looking at the Doppler map right now with the high pressure control, not too many clouds in the sky and not much in the way of precip happening either. But of course, that's going to change probably mid-morning tomorrow towards the noon hour as our low pressure system from the southwest continues to track up towards Lake Superior, aiming to get a snoot full of warmth and moisture off of the lake and replenish its energy supply. Low pressure systems tend to track that way. So rain-snow mix likely on Saturday. Rain-snow mix probably will continue on Sunday as the low continues its progression towards our region. You know, for Saturday and maybe parts of Sunday, the snow totals aren't going to be that impressive, but on the back side of the low come Monday, especially early on, that's when it could be cool enough for the totals to start to pick up. And latest estimate, I think this is what we're looking at come Monday afternoon. 
Duluth, at least over the hill and points north, six to ten inches. Uh, from Carleton County down to the west and to the south, maybe four to eight there. And another zone like that could be found in the snow belt thanks to some lake aggravation. But otherwise, Pine County and much of northern Wisconsin, you might only get one to four inches. Well, here's what we get with temperatures tonight in Minnesota. Like I mentioned, probably into the teens inland was warm as 20 down south. Increasing clouds as the low comes closer. Increasing in Wisconsin and Michigan as well with lows in the upper teens to about 20 in that neck of the woods. For tomorrow, Wisconsin-Michigan highs mid to upper 30s. That's why folks there may get more rain than snow in their mix. 80% chance for it. In Minnesota, 80% chance perhaps for more snow than rain, but still ice could be a problem. High temps anywhere from 29 to about 34 degrees. Some towns on the Mesabi Range might spike initially. Well, this uh, low pressure system will continue to spike snow towards us, as I mentioned, through a good portion of Monday. And then for New Year's Eve, calm down. And cool down too, Tony, but not like New Year's Eve's in the past where it's been, you know, 30 below. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just drop our high temps down towards 20 above, yeah. which is where we're supposed to be this okay. time of year. Okay, that sounds about right. I think I speak for a lot of us when I say, I hope it just stays snow this weekend and we don't get that ice freezing rain mix that you're kind of That's talking about. That's a consensus that I've heard bandied about by yeah. folks in all our zones. We'll cross our fingers. Thanks, Dave. There they are. Well, it's a popular weekend for Northlanders to hit the slopes and ski hills in the area have been preparing for the crowds. The holiday week typically brings in a lot of money to resorts and recreation areas just like Duluth Spirit Mountain. And officials are just hoping the weather doesn't put a dampener on the weekend. CBS 3's Jenna Wells brings us the details. I'm just snowboarding. We've been out in the park, just got here opening. Pretty chill day. Spirit Mountain in Duluth is taking advantage of the busy holiday week. With extended hill times, camps, and tubing. These few weeks here are crucial to not only our bottom line, but to setting us up as we move through the rest of the season. The weekend typically makes for a financial boost, something Spirit Mountain officials are hoping for. After recently receiving $235,000 from the city's tourism tax budget due to a loss of funds. You know, we needed that as due to that loss of snow cross, and we uh, then continued on. We finished making snow. We're 100% open now with all slopes and all parks. We'll continue to make snow for the half pipe to get that open as soon as we can. But things are going good. One concern? A messy wintry mix in the forecast this weekend. Spirit's executive director, Brandy Ream, says they have plans in place to keep the hill intact when the rough weather arrives. So there are a lot of adjustments that happen. Uh, we don't just kind of go through the motions because that's what we do, but we want to present the best skiable surface that we can and again, the safest uh, surface as well. But frequent snowboarders say as long as the hill is open, they'll be there. When the snow comes, probably just ride the hills more, ride the powder. If you're planning to head to the slopes this weekend, snowboarders say the best technique is to take it slow and have fun. Be like comfortable with what you do. Like don't try anything new until you really start feeling what the rails are and the jumps and just ride. If you are heading out this weekend, but you're concerned about the weather, Spirit Mountain officials say they will be keeping their website and social media updated about the conditions. Still to come on live local CBS3 stores selling marijuana open their doors in Michigan today. We take a look at how sales fared in the first day. That's coming up next. CBS3 live cams are brought to you by Kohler Toyota. New state-of-the-art dealership. Same President's award-winning service. KohlerToyota.com. Time is running out during the final days of the year. At Link Ford, our low prices are even lower. There's only six days left to save thousands on over 100 pre-owned vehicles under $20,000. 2016 Ford Focus, $9,254 or $149 per month. 2018 Escape, $18,579 or $299 per month. Don't miss out. It's the final days, final discounts at Link Ford in Minong or Rice Lake, where reputation is everything. It only happens once a year, the Johnson Mertz end of the year clearance event. All in-stock appliances are drastically reduced, making this the best time to get great deals on laundry and kitchen appliances. Plus, get 0% financing for 12 months and super fast delivery. Hurry in and get great pricing on appliances from locally owned Johnson Mertz during our end of the year clearance event. Johnson Mertz, it's a trusted name. 
when severe weather hits. Two to CBS three tonight at ten. We'll be out here in the storm for up to date coverage morning and night. Oh, stay away from here. Um, Live local weather coverage on CBS three Duluth. Here's this week's CBS three game day lineup. Brought to you by Kohler Hyundai. You're not just getting a car. You're getting Kohler. Everyone counts down to the new year, but we're counting up to it at Fond du Loup Casino. Over $40,000 will be given away during our count up to New Year's. The fun continues this Saturday with drawings every half hour beginning at 7 p.m. Giddy up as each drawing date up prize values will increase. This Saturday, 15 winners will receive $350 cash. Stop by the Players Club or log on to FondaloupCasino.com for all the participation details. Join in on the count up to New Year's cash drawings and have a great time out at Fond du Loup. I don't like bullies, and I don't like you. Star Trek Voyager. Find heroes and icons only on My9. When you share the love, you change lives. Over 2,200 wishes granted. More than 57,000 pets supported. Over 100 national parks protected. Over 2 million meals provided. Through the Subaru Share the Love event, Subaru will have proudly donated over $170 million to national and hometown charities over 12 years. Visit Miller Hill Subaru today during the Subaru Share the Love event, going on now through January 2nd. Visit us online at MillerHill.com. Northwest Outlet, the largest car hard dealer in the area. The New Year's Eve extravaganza of the year is New Year's by the Lake. Enjoy a four-course dinner, four great venues, and four musical acts. With balloon drops, party favors, hors d'oeuvres, a photo booth, and much more. Tickets available now. Call or visit us online. Recreational marijuana is now available for purchase in Michigan. After receiving a license to sell, Roots Provisioning Center in mid-Michigan finally opened its doors to eager customers today. CBS's James Felton brings us the details. We are more than excited. We're so happy. Uh, the turnout so far has been amazing. Brianna Serrato is overjoyed to be part of history. Licensed recreational marijuana sales no longer a what-if. Customers packed Roots Provisioning Center in Bangor Township to get their cannabis. People began arriving as early as... 543. I rode my bike down here so I would be first in line. Thomas Petchamal holds the distinction as the first licensed recreational marijuana customer in mid-Michigan. It feels pretty good. <laughs> At least I get to look and have a better choice. Jeff Brawford also showed up before first light. He tells us he's glad he can buy marijuana legally. You ain't got to go deal with somebody that you don't know or I'm familiar with or what you're even purchasing. You know what I mean? This is all regulated and through the state of Michigan. So you know it's clean. And we even talked to one customer from Texas who says he is glad he is here in mid-Michigan to buy wreck. I like to enjoy the stuff, and it was an opportunity to buy it myself without being any trouble with the law, so why not take advantage of it? Timothy Hildebrand is from Houston. He's visiting the area for the holidays. He says he knows what he'll tell people when he returns to the Lone Star State. Man, y'all need to go to Michigan, man. They got it going on. Turns out it was so busy at Roots that both ATMs inside the store ran out of money. Serato hopes this marks the beginning of rec marijuana businesses opening everywhere. I just want to walk in every corner like I see a liquor store and just say, hey, I need my medicine. Let's go. All right, Neil's here to talk about sports. There's a lot of hockey happening around the area. Hockey, basketball, yeah. you name it. Just plenty of holiday, holiday tournaments going on, mm -hmm. and, and they kept rolling on. This t today as both Hermantown and Duluth Denfeld were looking to pick up their second wins of the week. Highlights, both teams coming up right after the break. Jack those halls, trim those trees. The gift you really want is at Nissan's year-end event. Like Altima, with available intelligent all-wheel drive. Get 0% financing for 60 months on road. There are a lot of choices when it comes to automotive care, but how can you find someone you trust? At East End Auto, our customers have trusted us for the past 20 years to provide them with the best auto care. As your area's full-service repair shop, with the most modern equipment available to us, and backed by a two-year, 24,000-mile nationwide warranty, Honesty is what our customer relationships are built upon. Locally family owned and operated. Stop out to see why Easton Auto is the community's trusted auto repair home. Some things just can't last forever. Like Slushy here. 
and our best offer of the year during the final days of the Built for the Holidays sales event. But hurry, these amazing offers on select Ford models end soon. And so does your chance to earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. During the final days of the Ford Built for the Holidays sales event, get over $10,000 in total savings on an expedition. But hurry, it all ends January 2nd. Start your next project and save big money now at Menards. Save today on Irwin Hand Tools. This 21-ounce wood framing hammer is designed for extended reach and swing velocity. It has a magnetic nail holder to offer hands-free versatility. Pick it up for $12.99. Stanley provides quality tools at an affordable price. This two-piece slotted and Phillips screwdriver set is durable and has a steel core. Just $4.99. Take advantage of these great deals now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. At Chevy, we're all family. We're a festive family. We're a get-up-and-go family. We're all part of the Chevy family. Because our Chevy employee discount is still available to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. One, so Happy New Year and welcome to the family. The Chevy family. Use your Chevy employee discount for everyone to get over $6,100 below MSRP on this Equinox. Visit truenorthchevydealers.com. Our shower was like 20 years old and it was just in the worst condition. We had a new shower put in and it was acrylic and there's hardly any cleaning compared to the other one. We decided to call Bath Planet and Wayne did contact us and he made sure that it was a good time for us. He came here at 8 o'clock yep. in the morning. Job was done by 4 o'clock. I'm so glad that we chose Bath Planet. For a free estimate, call Bath Planet today at 218-228-0435. Jack those halls, is at Nissan's year-end event. Like Ultima, with available intelligent all-wheel drive. Get 500 holiday bonus cash on select models. The Hermantown boys hockey team has been in a class of their own to start the season. 7-1-1 one one to open their schedule. Their only loss coming to double-A power, Eden Prairie. The Hawks looking to pick up another win in the Hilltopper Classic against Fort Francis. Hermantown wasn't messing around against the Canadians today. Just 21 seconds in, Jackson Lucia fires, and Zach Kylan is there for the putback. Hawks take the lead. All gas, no breaks after that. Joey Pierce to Aaron Pionk, who might have a scope on his stick. The slap shot makes it a two-goal margin. A few minutes later, Pierce wants one of his own, gets the feed from eight and Dowd. What a rocket. They score six goals in the first period. Blake Biondi finds Ethan Lund for that one. Hermantown wins big 13 to 1. In the Heritage Classic, the host Duluth Denfeld trying to clinch a spot in the title game, taking on Roseville first period. Hunters on the power play. Dylan Juppie with a shot on goal, and teammate Griffin Lahat puts back the rebound. Denfeld leads 1 0. Burnsville would battle back to tie the game, then closing minutes of the first. No replay here. Lahat crashes the net and puts it in for his second goal of the game. Second period. All he does is score goals. Lahat makes a move, then beats the goalie glove side. Throw your hat. Hunters up 3-1. And Denfeld advances with a 6-2 win. In the pros, the Wild on the road in Denver to face conference throw the Colorado Avalanche first period after a goal by former Bulldog Carson Soucy. The Wild double their lead. Eric Stahl, right place, right time, 2-zip. Late in the third, game tied at four. Victor Rass with the eventual go-ahead goal. The Wild pick up win number 19, 6-4, to four, the final. Eight up and eight down for the Hermantown girls basketball team. And with another win, the Hawks would find themselves in the title game of the Coaches Classic in Esco. They just need to get by St. Anthony Village in the semifinals. First half, Hawks up four. Britta Berkland kicks it to a wide open Maya Christensen at the top of the key. Nothing but net on the trifecta, 12-5 Hermantown. Later on, it's Christensen picking up the assist. Bryden Kakowski with a three of her own. Four-point lead for the Hawks. But in the end, St. Anthony hands Hermantown their first loss, 62-58. to Proctor standout Sam Perendo won't have to travel far for her next team in college. The guard committed to UW-Superior today in eight games of action this season. Perendo is averaging nearly nine points per game and two assists. Perendo is also the all-time assist leader at Proctor. Wood City Classic in Cloquet. Proctor boys facing Pine City. Just over eight minutes left in the second half. 
Rails up by six. Connor St. Germain leading the break. Gets the bucket and the foul. He had 15. Pine City would cut it as close as four points. Seth Logan led the Dragons in scoring. Knocks that one down. But Proctor closed it out well. It doesn't make for good video, but it makes for points on the board. 26 and 28 from the charity stripe. The Rails take the tournament opener 55 to 46. In the NBA, the battle of exact opposites of the top seeded Bucks traveled to take on the last place Atlanta Hawks. First quarter, Bucks up nine. Dante DiVincenzo comes up with the steal, then pushes it up the floor, eventually dishing it to Chris Middleton for the slam. To the second eight point game, Middleton lobs it up to Brooke Lopez for the alley oop jam. That's a 10 point game. Bucks rebound with the 112 to 86 win. Now that's all for sports. We'll be right back after the break. CBS3 Closed Captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health. May hope brighten your holiday and inspire you in the new year. Happy holidays from Essentia Health. Oh, wow, new Toyota? Yeah, we got a great deal at Toyotathon. Huh, yeah. Welcome to the final days of Toyotathon. Whew. We made it. Yeah, we did. Right now, during Toyotathon, you can lease an adventurous new 2020 Toyota RAV4 for $239 a month. Hurry in today. Toyotathon is on, but it all ends January 6th. Toyota, let's go places. I know people love the dish remote. It's great. So why build in a Google Assistant? I mean, who really needs a TV remote that can turn the thermostat up? Change temperature to 7 the lights down lights. and still access their DVR. Actually, some people could absolutely use a remote like that. The new Dish Voice Remote. Dish, tuned in to you. Buying a car is a big deal. We get that. At Washkies, we're not here to sell you a vehicle. We're here to help you find your vehicle. You'll wrap up tremendous savings with a red bow. Now with Employee Pricing Plus rebates on most new Cadillac, Buick, GMC, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Rams. An unprecedented offer, making now a historic time to save. Wash Keys has over 300 vehicles to choose from and a great team to help find the right vehicle for you. Real Steel. Find yours. Pick up the BG50 blower for only $139.95 or grab the easy-to-use BG56 CE handheld blower. For the biggest jobs, go for the most powerful backpack blower in the steel lineup, the BR800 CE for $649.95. Unwrap the joy of a new CRV, the best selling CUV over the past decade. That's all right. Men's Wardrobe by Mainstream Fashions for Men. The annual gift giver sale is going on now through December 31st. Mainstream. Open Sundays, noon to 4 until Christmas. Before we go, New York City is getting ready for its biggest party of the year. That's New Year's Eve in Times Square. City officials are expecting about a million revelers as the excitement continues to build for those waiting for the giant ball to drop. Workers are putting the finishing touches on the 12-foot, 6-ton Waterford crystal ball that will descend at the stroke of midnight. This year, they're replacing 192 of the nearly 2,700 panels with specially themed Gift of Goodwill crystals. And if you're planning to check it out for yourself so far... Early on, the weather forecast there for New Year's Eve calls for partly cloudy skies with highs in the upper 40s and only a 20% chance for rain. We can't say the same about the forecast here, unfortunately. <laughs> Not for the weekend, yeah. you know, once New Year's Eve comes around. We might be just as calm as New York City, okay. but there's going to be a little bit of running roughshod over us by Mother Nature here, okay. beginning probably tomorrow morning. So let's fire up the six-day forecast, plus one, making it a seven-day forecast. I had a flashback back towards probably the early 90s when we did only do a six-day forecast. 
UFTA. Anyway, UFTA may be the word tossed out by a lot of northerners here as we go through Saturday, Sunday into Monday morning with a large low pressure system bringing 80 to 90 percent chances for rain and snow mixes. Perhaps more rain in Wisconsin and Michigan and more snow in Minnesota. Bottom line is well, from Duluth to the north in Minnesota, many inches of snow could fall for Wisconsin, Michigan, lesser totals. But ice on top of all of this problem could really make for a pain in the neck. But again, the new year should start with less of a pain as things cool down and clear up a little bit. All right, get the shovels ready and gas up those uh, snowblowers. Gas blowers. up the snowblowers. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for joining us today.